Yo. Yo, Jordan Imp, this, this right here is crazy. I, I, I feel big, you know what I mean? Like, not, not big in the sense of weight, you know what I mean? Like, gaining weight up, nothing like that. Like, colossal, like, you know what I mean? Like, all right guys, so a lot of you, a common question we get asked about every day is how do you know your body fat? How do you check your body fat percentage? Body fat is something people find really cool and is a measure of like kind of how they're doing their fitness journey. You know, are you shredded? Are you 8% body fat? You've been working hard. Are you 15? Is it time to cut bulk? The beauty of body fat is it's a good kind of mechanism to test where you are and to test where you need to go. So saying so, there's usually three ways I like to check body fat. First is a scale. Uh, recently, we just did a promotion on the scale. If you guys want to check out that scale, it's the first link in the description down below. But there's a question of how accurate can they be just through electrical impulse. So what they do essentially is send a little jolt you wouldn't even feel, and that kind of goes throughout your body, and then it kind of gauges your water and your mass. And you have to wonder how legit that can be. So usually it'll be that plus calculations, and a lot of the time it's not the best mechanism to gauge it. The second best, in my opinion, is calipers. Calipers are really good. You're actually going to go ahead and squeeze each department, do stuff, and that's quite accurate all in all, but you have to account for human error and consistency. So sometimes if you want to grab a little less fat, you can, and you can measure lower body fat. I remember I used to sit about 215. I'm about 210, 215 now. And I used to think I was like 8% body fat because of calipers, right? I had abs, I have abs now, and we're gonna do our dexes and see what we are. But I'd probably, if I had to guess, say I'm closer to like between 14 and 16, somewhere like that. And that's kind of how you're gonna know. So I'd be weary of those. And ultimately, the best thing you guys can do if you actually wanna know is a bod pot or a DEXA scan. These are two scans that actually use either x-ray technology, some other things there's out there that will do water displacement. There's a bunch of stuff like that. But these two are your best mechanisms. I'm not gonna dive into the science, but if you wanna check that, Google your area, that machine, and then you're gonna find a true measure. So that's what we're gonna to do today. That'll be really cool. Uh, now let's talk about what body fat can kind of help you understand its purpose, where you are, stuff like that. So now I'd say the fourth way to kind of measure your body fat is to kind of just take a guess. Now this definitely isn't always accurate because a lot of people actually think they're a lot lower body fat than they actually are. Um, so basically you can use a photo also to kind of compare. We'll put it up on the screen here. And we're gonna do this today, we're gonna to guess. So Josh said he's gonna be about 14 to 16%, that's his guess. I'm gonna go a bit higher. I think I'm probably around 18% body fat based on looking at these images. I hold a lot more body fat in my stomach, as you guys can tell, a lot less in my um, upper region, but yeah, so that's the fourth way you guys can kind of see where you're at. Okay guys, so HP Labs right now is having a Halloween deal, so literally $300 worth of supplements just for $99. So check this out, there is a duffel bag right here, you get a towel, Beyond BCAAs, Oxy Shred, uh, you get a detox right here, multivitamins, and I think I said this water bottle. Just use code Colossus99 and you also get a special gift sent to you. And uh, yeah, so this Oxy Shred alone is literally $70 worth. So if you guys want to try out their subs, get hooked up, then make sure to take advantage today. What percent body fat do you think Kyle is? 15. What? I'm gonna say for myself, like, I'll be nice, 17.5 to 18. What nice? You're saying if you have a higher body fat, you're unacceptable? No, I think Grow it's acceptable. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the start of a newish kind of series because we're doing an experiment. I'm gonna be doing a massive bulk. Josh is gonna be doing a lean bulk and we're gonna pair the different- call it the experiment. The experiment? The experiment. That's what we're gonna title it? Yeah. So it's a new series, yeah? Yeah, bro. So yeah, the experiment. And this is the experiment. I'm gonna be putting on about 30 pounds, see how much of it will be fat, how much muscle. Josh is gonna be doing a very nice, slow approach, see how much muscle he gains there, so. Yeah, so Kyle's doing a big ball, but I'm doing a body recomposition. So I'm gonna be cutting down to 205, so I got about six pounds to go. 205, I'm gonna gain muscle very slowly and very like, 
a very consistent, meticulous way, and we're going to test if that body recomp, if I can get it to about my starting weight, which is about 215, 216. We'll put on more muscle, kind of change my measurements in a positive way. So I've been recording those. We're going to do a lot of stats, and it's going to be really good detail. And at the end, we're going to compare who's put on more muscle over the period. I have a feeling it'll be Kyle with the big dirty bulk. He'll probably gain some more fat. But we're going to see at the end when me and Kyle are both cut, probably by next summer, which is the best approach or kind of our experiment of who can gain more, or how it works, how we feel. We'll be able to document it, so it'll be a really cool time. Guys, we're here at the DEXA scan. If you know what the DEXA scan is, it's gold standard for testing like all your stats. We'll say like organ density, I believe, like bone density, how much muscle you have, where you hold your fat, your body fat percentage. This is a true measurement. We're gonna compare it to the scale we've been using that we promoted in our other video. So we're gonna see how they hold up. This is a ton of fun. Let's see what happens. This is our first time doing it. After you, camera boy. Hey, uh, what is it? 5'8. 173, a little over 5'8. Uh, I only got 25 pounds of gain. <laughs> so you're right in that imprint. Sure. I'm just going to stretch your feet first. Yep. You're where you are underweight, you want to I guess we'll see what it is, right? <laughs> oh, I'm a big boy. So 215.2 pounds. Sounds about right. Two eleven in the morning. Okay, you want to try? Gonna fall asleep. Just the start of the 200 club, baby. It's time to bulk. So um, for me, basically, it's weighing me in at around 175 to 177 pounds. So now I've got around 25 pounds or so to um, to gain to get to 200. It should take me a couple months, but I'm aiming for about two to three pounds per week. See how much of that's fat, how much of it is muscle. It's gonna be a crazy sick experiment. And then this guy right here. Yeah, so I'm 15% body fat, which is about right, like 217 pounds. I'm probably 211 in the morning. So that's pretty legit, statistic wise. Got like really good bone density, good muscle mass, good everything. Holding a lot of my fat in my legs, which is good. But yeah, I'm probably gonna just cut down 205 and start that body recomp. See if I can get to the same weight and gain a little bit of muscle, kind of change the way I look. and. Be a fun experiment doing it the slow lean bulk way versus Kyle's all out, less commit approach. Yeah, and for me, it was saying I was 16.2% body fat, so I'm very lean in my upper body, as you guys know. And then my Shredded. trunk, I have a lot of fat, which I've mentioned before. But that's just the way it is. And um, yeah, so we'll see what you know the results show after a couple months of this. Stay tuned. Which one to have first? Canada finally has purple monsters. You guys don't even understand, I've been wanting this to come to Canada for so long. Some of our clients and friends have sent us out them from the States. All we need is Halo Top and then we're basically complete here. But I'm fired up. You got that perp? <laughs> <laughs> what? Got that perp drink. <laughs> come on. Okay guys, the results are in. We're gonna put these on the screen so you can follow along. But I'm just gonna kind of read everything. So I guess 14 to 16 and I was at 15. Bear in mind, she said me and Kyle were a lot lower than um, our body fat percentages. Mine was 15, you'll hear his. Because she said, you drink a lot of water. And we said, yeah, so she calibrated for that. So it's hard to know 100% sure because we did do that like extreme calibration. So it was very sensitive to body fat. Uh, this is what I look like. So uh, yeah, I was so big, I had to like get strapped in. So I'm so like wide, so they like strapped me tight. And I really like this because it showed your bone density, showed your body fat. It's so cool too. Like 
my whole life I've wanted to measure my arm. I'm like, oh, I wonder how much these are for boxing. Like, it's so heavy. This is so cool. Like, my arms are 31.4 pounds. Like, that's that's nuts to know. And I got some big legs straight up. So uh, my legs were my legs were 67.8 percent lean mass pounds. Sorry, 14.3 percent fat. So I got some hefty legs. All right, so those are like general stats, you know, um, bone mass. I was in the 99 centile, so I got really healthy bones. I was happy with that. My stomach fat region was really low, but not like for the healthy region. But it was cool because it was pretty accurate to that scale, and it was a really good time. It was a really quick process. She was really cool. Let's let Kyle give you some details. Okay, guys, so I overestimated my body fat a bit. Basically, I said 18%. I'm 16.2. Shredded like ziz, bro. <laughs> a lot of people actually think when they see me like lifting in a tank top and stuff that I'm like 7% body fat, which is funny because you guys will see it says my arms and upper body around here is like 9%. My core is I believe like 19 or something. Um, but overall, yeah, 16% body fat is a little bit high to start a bulk, but I want to commit to this. I want to see how much muscle I can gain. So I highly recommend getting one of these to, to see where you guys are all at, all at in your fitness journey. So all in all, we have some really good hard true data and this is important I'd recommend doing this at least once because you have a true set of data to work off of and that's something you can keep and compare as you progress. So this was a really cool experience all in all. I hope you enjoyed walking through it with us. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share it with a friend. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.